Hey everyone, welcome to part two of turning my office into a guest bedroom. My name is Daphne and I make videos on DIYs and home decor. And in today's video, I am excited to share with you all the room DIYs I created for this small guest room makeover on a budget, as well as the final reveal. If you haven't seen part one of this two part series, you might wanna go back and watch that first, just to gain some context and catch up with all the heavy work that was done in this 10 square meter space but in short I am doing this makeover for my parents who are visiting for quite a while and so far I have emptied the room I have painted the wall and the radiator I have added the bed I have created and added a console table behind the bed I have added the sconces as well as a floating shelf and in this video, I will be DIYing the room decor. This is a guest room makeover on a budget, so I will mostly be creating decor pieces with items I already have. I think the only thing we really splurged on was the rug, which was 100 euros best purchase ever. Some of the DIYs I will be creating or home decor items I will be using, I have created in the past. So feel free to look at my previous videos in case you find something you like. This is also a good time to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any future home decor and DIY videos. And last but not least, you will find the products and dimensions in the description box. So without further ado, let's start DIYing. For my first DIY, I will be hacking this IKEA Ekas lampshade and I'm starting off by hot gluing the edge of some jute cord on the top side of the lampshade and also a little bit on the inner side of it as well. And then I am wrapping the jute around the lampshade. This is a super easy DIY. I wrapped the jute around the lampshade until it was fully covered in it and I also added a little bit more hot glue on the top side of the lampshade the first few times I wrapped it. When I ran out of cord, I attached the next one with a double knot and cut off the excess and I made sure that the knot would be hidden on the inner side of the lampshade and then I continued wrapping. To secure the final cord, I hot glued it on the inner side of the lampshade, cut off the excess and also hot glued the cut edge as well. And then using a pair of scissors, I trimmed off the little fibers on the cord and that's my lampshade ready. Alex helped me hang it since he knows how to connect the wires and that's it ready. I absolutely love how it looks. I think it really sets the tone for what's to come next. This is that one for my second DIY, I am making a clothes hanger with cork hooks. I have a dedicated and more detailed video on how I am making these. I will throw a card on the screen in case you're interested. They're super easy and fun to make. I think I've made four of these so far with different designs and colors. So I am using a 60 centimeter long piece of wood and opening seven evenly spread holes, five for the hooks and two on either side to mount it on the wall. And then I am painting it the same color I used on the wall, which is Barbary by Benjamin Moore. And I will be drawing some abstract shapes on it. So I created three colors with some leftover paint I had. I started with mixing some green and white in two containers to create a light green color. I ended up changing my mind about the second container. I was going to create another shade, but yeah, I changed my mind. So I poured over the paint on the first one. And then for my second color, I mixed some white, blue, and a little bit of the light green I just made and created a beautiful shade of light blue. 
And finally, for the third one, I mixed some white, yellow, brown and beige to create a beigey orange color. And by the way, I kept all three colors because I will be using them later on in a few more DIYs. Once all colors were ready, I painted some abstract shapes. I didn't have any specific design in mind, I just came up with it as I was painting, but I actually love all the shades I created and I think it ended up looking so, so cute. I could also see that in a baby's room or a kid's room. So I have these very basic IKEA frames. The plastic protector is actually broken, so I literally only have a frame. And I thought of using some canvas to make two very simple drawings and then staple the canvas on the frame. So let's go ahead and do that. Right, so I decided to add a little bit more surface space because there's not much in this room. So I'm going to be adding the other half of the console table that's behind the bed. And I'm gonna mount it on the wall just below the paintings. So let's go ahead and do that. My favorite time has finally come and that is to add the rug and make the bed. So the rug I got from H&M, it is recycled cotton, it is the prettiest rug I've ever seen. I can't wait to see what the room looks like with this rug and after we turn this room back into an office space, I'm going to use this rug in my bedroom. So. I bought it thinking it should match both spaces and I think it really does 
And for bed sheets, I'm gonna be using the IKEA Dvala series in white. I think they're pretty basic and budget friendly. I can't wait to see what it looks like finished because I really like what I see so far. It's so strange to think that this used to be an office space. I really couldn't believe that a bed would fit in this room and yet it does and it is not that claustrophobic. Like it is actually really comfortable in here which is really, really surprising. So let's go ahead and see what the finished space looks like. For this DIY, I am making some textured vases and as with a clothes hanger, I actually have a dedicated video on how I'm making each mixture. So in the first one, I added some baking soda in the beige orange paint and for the other two, I used a cornstarch mixture, which is actually my favorite method of creating textured paint. So I added some cornstarch in a container with water and then put it in the microwave for about 20 seconds. Then I stirred it and put it back in the microwave for another 20 seconds. And I did that a few times until the mixture had this jelly-like texture. And then I poured in some of the light green paint I created and combined it. And that's it for the second vase. This one is actually a coffee jar and I really like the shape of it. And for the third one, I am using the mixture I had created for the video where I was testing these paint techniques like eight months ago. And this one is also a cornstarch mixture. I wanted to see if it was still okay to use after so long and I was so surprised to see it hasn't changed a bit. So I added some of the wall paint in this mixture and painted this beer bottle. I really like the handle on this one. I think it's so cute. I let all three fully dry for about a day and that's it for the DIY texture textured vases. This is another super easy DIY, but it honestly made such a huge change in the room. I mentioned in part one that the wall paint I used darkened the room a bit. And so I thought of adding this floral lamp to add some more lighting, but its color was pretty dark. So I spray painted it white using the Rust-Oleum Hyrule White. And it honestly turned out so much better than it was and makes the room feel much more cozier. For this final DIY, I will be adding some decor above the bed and I actually cut some dried palm leaves from a tree in the neighborhood. I cut the thorns on the stem and then shaped it. Then I sprayed some hairspray to make sure it stays in place, although I'm not sure whether that was definitely necessary, but I did it anyway and finally Alex and I nailed them on the wall right above the bed. Thank you. 
This coffee table book is so pretty. It's full of um, pictures, like postcard pictures from various islands of Greece. Like, who wouldn't like to go through that in bed? Look at all these beautiful Greek islands. Look at these, they're so pretty. And also, I mean, come on, come on. I love this book, so pretty. I am standing outside the room. It is finally ready for you guys to see in three, two, one. And that, you guys, was my DIY guest bedroom makeover. I cannot even describe how happy I am with how the space turned out, especially given the fact that the bed was not the kind of bed I would choose for this space. And I am so happy I made it work somehow. I was a little bit worried there would not be enough space in the room. And because it's a small bedroom, I tried not to stuff it with a lot of things. And it honestly feels so cozy and spacious and comfortable all at the same time. And that's just to show that you don't need to spend a lot of money to create an aesthetically pleasing space. You can just look into your stash See what items you have, what you can work with, and create some beautiful room decor pieces. So let me know what you guys think about this small room transformation on a budget. I hope you liked it and that you also enjoyed the budget room decor DIYs. If you did, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more room makeovers and DIY content, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell to get notified whenever a new video comes up. Thank you so, so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.